Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog and I have just been to my peer box and got this massive box. I don't know what's in it. It's from Penguin Random House Children's so I'm going to open it now. Okay, so there is a gold box inside. Oh, it looks like a wedding box. <gasps> Look how nice it is. Oh, I just love stuff like this. So it has a little ribbon. Pull the ribbon. And then I'll show you first before I see it. Ta -da -da. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. So you've got a little like paper boat, then got a Marset Monkey postcard. Hi Hannah, I hope you enjoy it. Team Pullman. Oh my god, Philip Pullman. <laughs> so you've got this little monkey postcard, and then it's got pictures how to make this recipe thing in here you've got little leaves oh oh wow la belle savage print stunning and let me get straight to this book it also uh, they gave me a little like book another little book and some dark chocolate thank you very much so this is the book of dust by philip pullman i heard so much about this goddamn book it is so beautiful look at that so this is book of dust volume one by philip pullman i cannot wait to read this i read so many like great things about this also the illustrations in it i didn't even know it was illustration and the illustrations are just absolutely stunning i mean look at that just look at it me hi i'm hannah i love illustrations absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna read this right now thank you so much penguin for sending this to me and all like the little goodies as well so I'm just sitting on my bed about to read Book of Dust and I look back in the box and I realise that they've given me the free audiobook of the book and so I downloaded the audiobook and guess who's narrating it? Read by Michael Sheen. I love Michael Sheen so I'm actually going to audiobook this with my boyfriend and we're going to audiobook this today because he really wants to listen to it as well. The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. The screams. There was a saloon bar where the gentry, if college scholars count as gentry, took their ale and smoked their pipes into the terrace room, which was the smallest of all the dining rooms in the inn, and overlooked the terrace and the river. Look how pretty these flowers are on my plant, but it's so weird because it's this big and leafy plant, and then this massive stem, like something from Jack and the Beanstalk, has come out of it and started flowering but all the flowers just flower for a day so all these ones along here just flowered for one day then died and then these two have come out today when they'll probably die and then there's like more little buds there it's freaking me out it's like some kind of fairy tale thing <laughs> i'm still audio booking and absolutely loving it it's about this boy and his parents running in and all these strange people are coming so there's this man from the government and someone's dropped an acorn with a message in it and someone else is worth asking whether the nuns are looking after a baby it's all very mysterious beautifully written just so gorgeous lovely it reads like a classic novel it's beautiful but i thought i'd show you what i'm knitting whilst i read so this is what i've done so far it's just my own design so i'm not following a pattern i've knitted all these squares and put them together i've got to put another square in there and then i'm doing a red border because i want it to be halloweeny so i'm gonna just i'm just doing it like by eye i'm not counting stitches i don't really know what i'm doing i'm just improvising so then i'm going to put a red border around this and i'm knitting this while i listen to the gorgeous audiobook it has been a few days since i last spoke to you and i'm still loving this book i'm taking it everywhere with me i've got like a bit of thread for a bookmark so i'll tell you what page i am on i'm like well into the book you can tell I am on 335 and it's about a boy called Malcolm who all strange things are happening so he works at his like parents inn and everyone's saying oh is there a baby being raised by the nuns because he's friends with the nuns and he doesn't know anything about this baby and then all of a sudden a baby does turn up and he's like oh that's very strange that the nuns 
have got a baby where is this baby from and it is such a good adventure story and I don't want to ruin it at all and then all the characters have things that are called demons and the demons are like they can turn into different animals oh my god it's so good but like I'm gonna ruin it so I'm gonna stop talking but I'm still loving it I've just got back in, that's why my hair resembles that of a rat because I got caught in a rainstorm and I'm going to do a bit of reading, I'm going to carry on reading this I'm 100 pages from the end and Malcolm and this girl kind of go on an adventure I don't want to spoil it but it's all to do with that mysterious baby is there a baby nearby? is there not? whose baby is it? why have the nuns got a baby? like they, they can't have babies, what's this about? it's all to do with that baby and so it's an adventure story and it involves his canoe which is called La Belle Sauvage and oh my god like it's getting really tense now and so I just want to read it it's like 100 no 570 pages and I've only got 100 more pages to go also I'm flipping before like physical reading and audiobook because I love the audiobook with Michael Sheen he is so good at doing the different voices and he like quickens up his pace when it gets exciting and I love the audiobook but when I'm outside the house I take the physical book with me. So I'm going to audiobook, I think, the last 100 pages now. I've just finished the book and oh my god, I loved it. If you want a really fun packed, emotional though as well, adventure story read, read this. This is like a big book, but it's so quick paced. I think there's so much happening within it and there's so many mysterious elements. You just have to keep reading to find out like what's going on. I think if you're into mysteries, this is such a book for you and I love murder mysteries and stuff like that. And so there are so many different elements. I don't want to spoil it, but <laughs> if you read it, please email me so we can talk about it. I absolutely loved it. I love the whole idea of these little demon creatures, which are kind of like pets which every human has a different one and some of them can like change shape and stuff and they help the human out I loved that whole element of it I loved Malcolm and I really liked Alice who's his friend who they go off in this like adventure in La Belle Sauvage oh like <laughs> I want to talk about it so bad I loved this I'm not normally into adventure stories and I'd probably say oh I'm not really into it you know I'm not an adventure story person and all that now I am, like <laughs> now I am, and now I really want to read everything Philip Pullman's ever written. So that's the end of this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog that had like a lot going on, an unboxing, some reading, and some little closey kit lips and stuff like that. Tell me if you'd like to see another reading vlog for me, and I'll see you again very soon.